The United States Institute of Peace implements our nation's values and strengthens its security by reducing violence abroad. In some of the world's most dangerous regions, USIP's mediators, trainers, and analysts work on the ground to help local people resolve the conflicts that fuel wars and extremism. Terrorism or warfare have destabilized 92 countries, killing more than 100,000 people each year and uprooting most of the world's 65 million displaced people, the most ever recorded. USIP's work saves lives and resources because preventing wars costs a fraction of containing them with military interventions. In 2014, ISIS militants in Iraq massacred 1,700 young Iraqi cadets and soldiers, mostly Shia Muslims, near the city of Tikrit. The trauma reopened old divisions. Shia tribes accused Sunni Muslims of supporting the slaughter. When I heard this event from the media, I realized that this crime will be a big part in the increase of the difference between the Iraqis and the difference between the Iraqis. Sunnis fled their homes, fearing violent retaliation by the grieving Shia. Tensions rose, and a cycle of revenge appeared inevitable. The U.S. Institute of Peace stepped in. As an independent, nonpartisan organization created and funded by Congress, USIP has the credibility to bring people together across divides. It has worked nonstop amid Iraq's war building the relationships of trust that can foster peace, even amid crisis. USIP works with American policymakers and abroad with national government leaders and with neighborhood grassroots activists. From empowering Colombian women mediators to training peacekeepers across the African continent, linking young leaders to counter violent extremism in their communities, and supporting peaceful elections in Afghanistan and Burma. Following the massacre near Tikrit, USIP saw the danger of spiraling violence and reached out to bring rival groups together. USIP and its Iraqi partners mediated a peace accord, allowing more than 300,000 people to return home. Markets reopened, and life returned to the streets of Tikrit. USIP's small staff works across five continents, from offices in Afghanistan, Pakistan, Burma, Iraq, and Tunisia building the relationships and training the partners that can help countries end violence and better resolve their own conflicts. لولا الله ثم اللي قائمين على الفكرة هذه لكان مجزرة سبايكر يعني غطت بظلالها يعني جزء كبير من العراق لكن الحمد لله. Witnesses of USIP's work from victims of war to America's military leaders, underscore that this building of peace has saved lives, brought refugees home, and reduced military interventions abroad. Through USIP, America shows that peace is possible. <laughs>